uh, questions on Greiner. You know, there's sort of been a sense that the negotiations couldn't enter the next phase until this appeal process was concluded. So can you discuss a bit how today's ruling may have impacted negotiations? Look, I mean, we've been very clear uh, about this. We're not going to certainly negotiate in public. Uh, look, we are disappointed uh, about we, what, what we saw today, but not surprised by the outcome. Uh, as we have said multiple occasions, these judicial proceedings are a sham. And look, this is a priority for this administration. This is a priority for the president. This is a priority uh, for Jake Sullivan, National Security Advisor. Have you, he put out a statement this morning. And this is a priority for the Department of State. And we are going to do, uh, we're going to uh, continue uh, to put to make this a priority and get uh, Brittany Griner home uh, as soon as possible and also get Paul Whalen home. Uh, again, I'm, I'm not going to negotiate in public. I'm not going to go into details uh, of, of the process. Uh, but again, this is, uh, this is a priority and we need uh, Russia. We are asking and telling Russia to, to negotiate in good faith. A question on Russia and Ukraine. The president, we heard him say earlier that it would be a serious mistake for Russia to use a dirty bomb. But just to be clear, would the U.S. be forced to respond? And would there be consequences? So just to be clear, uh, and the president has said this many, many times, uh, and he's been very clear about this, and he, has, he said it again today, it would be a major mistake for Russia uh, to use nuclear weapons in Ukraine, leading to severe uh, consequences. As, as, as for the potential use of a dirty bomb, uh, to your question, Mary, look, Russia is pushing transparently false uh, allegations. You heard me say that. You heard uh, my colleague over at the State Department say that yesterday, that Ukraine is preparing to use a dirty bomb on its own ter ter territory. We are calling that false, uh, false allegations by Russian. So we must take this seriously, which is what the president said today. You heard him say that, because in the past, we have seen Russia use allegations as a pretext to escalate. Uh, and as the president said, we don't know if that is the case here. We, we don't see that to be the case. Uh, but uh, again, we have not seen Russia make these preparations, as you've heard us say, you heard me say yesterday, you've heard us say yesterday. Uh, but of course, we'll continue to monitor this very, very closely. But if Russia does use a dirty bomb, will the U.S. respond? We have been very clear in, in have in, through our private conversations with Russia uh, about the consequences. Uh, I'm certainly not going to lay them out here. Uh, and uh, look, you know, uh, we have communicated directly uh, with them. I'm just not going to get ahead of, of uh, any conversations of what we've laid out for the Russians.